I got injured, I didn't know if I was ever going to walk or ski again. And it got to the point where I was just like, I don't know if I can't do it until I actually try to do it. It's amazing to get involved in sport and reach higher levels of success than you may have as an able-bodied athlete. As a one-legged skier, there's nerves and fear and challenges, but at the end of the day, it's, it's still just skiing and it's still a whole lot of fun. The Para Alpine ski team, they're like family. That's what we are, we're one big family and I love them all. I got involved with sit skiing about two years post injury. It did come fairly naturally for me and being an ex-racer, it brought back a lot of old feelings. Going down the hill, trying to go fast, trying to be better on every turn. A whole different element comes into play when it comes to sit skiing because there's so many factors involved with the actual equipment itself and there's so many little things that can contribute to whether our run is feeling smooth or really bumpy. Being the first person to do a backflip on the sit kick, for me it was really about getting together with a group of friends and doing something cool and we all believed in it. We had this common vision that it was possible. The sport, there's so much left to discover. It's, it's awesome. When I heard about para alpine standing, it just it just hit me that that's what I was striving for. You know, it was a dream come true, definitely. Part of the, the good thing about para alpine ski racing is that it pushes you to something that you wouldn't normally do. Slalom is a little more violent in para alpine as we take the gates differently than able body racers. I ski on one leg, I'll take them across my shin and my chest, but I love it. It's just something I can't go without. Once those boots are buckled on, and once you hear those two clicks popping the skis on, it's go time. There's definitely uh, an element of fear going on in your head when you're standing in the start. Going at 120 kilometers an hour in downhill and having to look over your shoulders and tell them the informations of the course at the same time over the radio to the guy behind me, it can make it very interesting. When you're going down, it's definitely sometimes a little bit stressful, but it's a lot of fun. Like Each gate you come around, you're always turning around to check to make sure he's still there. Then you're also trying to focus on ahead and tell him what's coming up and focusing on ruts and stuff on the hill. And it's you know all part of the game and when you make it through, it, adrenaline picks up even that much more and it's, it's sweet. first thing that you learn when you want to enter this kind of level is you've got to sacrifice your friends, your family, and your schooling. Last year when I was on the prospect team, I lived out of my suitcase. I'd go home for like two days and sometimes I was like, is this really worth, you know, maybe not going to school for a year? But then I remembered that it's my passion, so I was like, I just got to do this. I've grown up doing this. This is has been my life. It's changed who I am and who I've become, and so it's been a huge journey, I guess, life's journey. I do end up dropping into different rehab hospitals occasionally to talk to newly injured people, and I always promote sport, both for the sake of health and productivity of life, but also there's so many opportunities available. And I think a lot of people try to separate themselves from that world because they think, I don't know, maybe they're too cool to admit they're disabled or something, but like, let's face the reality of it. Like, you are, and you are only disabling yourself by not becoming involved in in sport and meeting other people with disabilities because guess what, we're still just people and uh, we're athletes pursuing a dream. It definitely is one big family. Like when you're on the road and you leave home, it's kind of comforting and it's a lot of fun. You take those memories that you had with those people as much off the hill as on the hill with you forever.
The Audi FIS Ski World Cup is presented to you by Audi, proud partner of Alpine Canada Alpine.